So I was on the internet, I was carousing disc golf YouTube videos, and I saw a video from another round disc golf, and they were playing with Big Germ, Kevin Jones, and James Conrad. And Kevin Jones did something that really surprised Big Germ. Kevin Jones was out there forehanding a champion leopard. You guys can go for it. Kevin's been on Team Innova for a matter of a month and a half. I've been on the team for eight years, and Kev's like, why don't you throw a leopard forehand yesterday? First time I'd ever even thought of it. I tried it once, 2017, I said, I'm not gonna do this again. It worked I out great in the parking lot. Bring it. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it worked good in the parking lot, so today we're gonna learn. So there's gonna be a few of these. He was saying he wanted something to, to late flip, like at like 300 feet away. And uh -huh. That's exactly what it'll do. Hey. The leopard from Innova Discs is a fairway driver that has a reputation of being unthrowably understable. And it seemed to blow Big Germ's mind that Kevin Jones had the audacity to forehand a leopard. And then I've actually seen quite a few players at my local course with leopards in their bag and forehanding them, likely because of this video that we saw with Kevin Jones. So today I've got four absolutely gorgeous PFM leopards here. These are the old pre-flight number runs. Got them out of used bins over the last few years. Got this nice swirly guy, got the yellow guy. And then pro tip, if you want the most stable leopard, get a blue one. Blue leopards confirmed are the most stable leopards. So what we're gonna do here today is go over how I like to forehand leopards because I actually am a big fan of the leopard and I think it's a relatively misunderstood disc um, from the perception of most disc golfers. And I actually think it's one of the most slept on discs in the Innova lineup. I think the leopard is right up there with the T-Bird and how good of a disc it actually is. But there's so many few people that bag leopards and compared to the amount of people that throw T-Birds. And I actually think for a lot of players, this should probably be flip-flopped. So what we're gonna do here is go over a couple tips that will help you forehand not only leopards, but any discs on the sort of minus two turn stability range. So Kevin Jones used to forehand an F5 quite a bit, which is one of my favorite flippy fairway drivers from Prodigy Discs. So he developed that skill with the F5, but now that he throws Innova, the Leopard just fits right into that slot. So he was a natural with the Leopard. So first we'll go over my grip. I like to use a stat grip on all forehands, no matter what stability, no matter what wind. I always have this grip because it's the most consistent, it's the most comfortable and the most confident for me. So I used to throw a split grip, but I feel like I get a lot more consistency and a little bit more power by stacking it. I also think that people that do one finger or split finger are much more likely to injure their finger because think about how much stronger of a structure you have by having two fingers absorbing this force instead of one. So that could be this one finger, it could be the split finger. This is gonna protect your fingers and give you a lot more longevity with throwing forehands, in my opinion. So now that we have a grip that we can count on that we're gonna be consistent with, we wanna talk about the angle of release. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, he's throwing the flippiest disc of all time. He needs to throw this dumb, unrelatable Heiser flip line. Maybe if you're throwing a DX Leopard, that would be the case, but the Leopard is a sleeper forehand disc. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just throw it nice and flat and see how it reacts. I'm expecting this guy to turn a little, but not necessarily turn a lot. So we did get a nice turn. A little more height, it probably would have came out. But what that lets me know is with this grip and with my arm speed, I do need to throw it on a little bit of hyzer unless I really want a big emphasize right to left moving shot. And right there is the exact line that Kevin Jones would forehand a leopard on. That little baby hyzer flip where the disc is really not deviating left to right much at all, just throwing an absolutely dead straight shot. And I think that's where a lot of people miss out is by not forehanding their understable discs. Um, people just don't think that they can do it, but it's actually not that hard. It took me one throw to dial in the Leopard and now I can consistently throw nice and straight laser beams. 
That guy's even more stable than the first one I just threw. So that white swirly guy is actually quite stable for a leopard, not even flipping all the way up and over. Then we've got this red guy. Again, I've never thrown this one before. I don't think I've ever thrown that white one before. Let's see how this guy flies. Ooh, that's the money one right there. That red guy's got the perfect flight. Whew. That red leopard is absolute money. Let's go gather those leopards back up and I'll give you guys the next tip. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the launch angle. I think launch angle is something that gets lost in translation for a lot of players, especially when throwing distance shots. If you want your disc to fly far, then you need to give it some height to work with and also find a little bit of turn. So of these leopards, I just explained kind of the stability range with each disc. I actually think the yellow one likely has the best distance potential. But for it to achieve that, we need to have an upward launch angle. So that's exactly what we're gonna try here is to throw this guy, but a little bit higher. and Hopefully we get a similar turn we got last time. I mean, look at that. And I just proved right there that leopards are actually really good for forehands. So shout out to Kevin Jones. But now we've got a great leopard, slightly less stable. So you can either throw it a little bit more flat, a little less hyzer angle, or you can just throw it not as hard. kind of emphasizing that big turn there. That one should go even farther than the yellow one. The longer you can stay on high speed turn, the farther you're gonna throw. That's why in distance competitions, they almost line up 45 degrees to the left side of the tee pad and then throw it way in the air. Then the disc is gonna be on turn like the entire flight. That's how you're gonna really maximize on your distance potential. So I hope those tips were helpful to you guys, not just for when throwing leopards, but when throwing forehands with understable discs in general, just to break down the three things I went over one last time, it's the grip. I highly believe in the two finger stack grip, not only for power, but also for longevity. You have just one finger stacked on another. That's gonna be twice as strong a structure throwing off of versus any one finger release. That's just my opinion as far as why I think stack grip is the best grip. So the second tip was angle of release understanding how stable the disc is that you're throwing and understanding your arm speed in relation to how much hyzer angle the disc actually needs on it. Um, I think you should learn one flippy fairway really well, one singular disc. I don't think you need a bunch of them in your bag like I have today. Um, I think you should just get to know one really well, know the angle, get comfortable with the angle that you need to release that one disc on every time. That's how you're gonna score better out on the course is by understanding the stability of the one that you think suits your arm speed the best. So maybe even go grab a few leopards or flippy fairways, throw them all a bunch of times, and then just make the decision to stick to one and then stick it out, get comfortable with the angle of release that makes the most sense for you and your arm speed. And I'm sure you're gonna have those nice flip up lines like you saw me do today. And the last tip is going to be the launch angle. I think the launch angle is something that a lot of people don't really talk about when they talk about form. If you want the disc to go far, it needs to be up in the air and understable discs fly really well when you put them up in the air. I do think that concludes that you can actually forehand leopards. And I do think that this shot from Kevin Jones on the Another Round channel did bring awareness to forehanding more understable molds. And I think this is a really valuable asset to add to your game. So let me know if you guys give it a try, comment down below, or let me know if you're excited to try it. Shout out to my sponsors, bergsdisksports.com. Use my code ICE20 to save 20% on the V4. And shout out to the main sponsor of the channel, Disc Golf Deals USA. I'm sure they have a bunch of leopards in stock and a bunch of other really cool discs, a bunch of understable stuff that you can learn this shot shape with. And I think this shot shape is gonna be really valuable to your game. So click the link in the description below to visit my store with Disc Golf Deals USA. And you, that's how you're gonna save the most money on anything you buy disc golf related is by using my link. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Stay humble, live with gratitude. I'll see you guys in the next one and take care.